This is where Doug Weaver likes to have his happy hour, his sunset view, the number 10 hole at the Robert Trent Jones Golf Course. We're playing at about 450 yards. However, the wind is right off of the Atlantic. I'm going to call it a two club wind. So a 260 yard drive might only go 240 or a 200 yard shot might go 180. So say this after me, when it's breezy, swing easy. So I'll, I want to get there, but it's a three shot hole. I'm aiming at the 150. Solid. I love it, right down the middle, almost hit the bird, right in the middle. I didn't try to overpower it, I wanted to make sure I hit that sweet spot. Let's go get a birdie. All right, we're 270 yards out into the wind. Uh, if I hit my three wood 230, I have 40 yards in. However, there's a bunker that I could get in, so sometimes I'll choose my 215 yard hybrid. These Callaway hybrids, Callaway woods just are so much fun to hit. So 270 minus 40, um, I hit this 230, could get to that bunker, and then I have a little wedge up. Now the closer I get, the less wind I have to deal with. Now the wind is also going left to right, which means I'd rather be on the right hitting into the wind, which gives me more control versus hitting across. So I'm looking, I want to be right of the green. So I'm going to aim at the flag, aim it, just try to if have the ball finish right, of the right side of the fairway. All right, it's going where I wanted. Just keep it left of that bunker, good shape. I'm going to be looking right into the wind. The wind blew my ball further right than I wanted. I'm in the rough, Bermuda rough. A lot of you northerners don't have Bermuda, so I need to get over the bunker. I'm going to estimate I'm 40 yards away. I brought two wedges, a 60 and a 56. I'm going to choose the 60. Now again, this is like a Brillo pad compared to the northern grasses, so I need to make sure I go fully through and finish, get all my weight going. So I did my practice swings, big breath of air through my nose, relax my hands. I'm aiming to the right of the flag because there's a hill that will kick it to the left. Ball came out a little left, that's okay, I'll have an uphill putt. Let's talk about reading my putt. You see the ball, I'm going uphill. So I'm here in Hilton Head, I wanna look at the green. Palmetto Dunes has wonderful greens. This is uh, Bermuda. You can see the grass is dark right in here. After I go up to the top of the hill, now you see the grass is light over there. What's that mean? The light grass means the grass is growing in that direction. Down grain, it's going to be fast. It's not going to, chip isn't going to stop very easy. The dark grass means the grass is growing that direction. My fingers represent a blade of grass. If I take my putter and go against the grain, you can see how it stands up. If I go that way, it lays down. So I have an uphill, up grain, Pot. You're going to be real slow, then the wind, slower. So I need to adjust my grip, uh, stroke for that. So reading the green, very important. Uphill, up grain. So I do my practice strokes. I'm imagining the speed of the ball rolling, and I'm matching my stroke to that. Oh, I hit the cup almost. You want to tap in for par. This is my favorite place to be, particularly at the end of the day, the Atlantic Ocean. Come with me, let's get a look at this. A must play golf course, the Atlantic Ocean, 
and a great golf course. This golf course has so many options, so many pin positions, so many different wins that you could play it every week like I do every day, and it's different all the time. Thanks for being with Palmetto Dunes Golf Academy at the Robert Trent Jones Golf Course, Palmetto Dunes Oceanfront Resort.